For today's fantasy draft, we have no rules. I can take whoever I want as long as I stay within the cap. However, I have to accept any and all trades that come our way. Obviously, I can set up the trade block. I'm going to put our whole team on it. So nobody's safe. I'm not going to leave it completely open though because from past experience, you just get fleeced by the computers and somehow they know that you have to accept everything and start sending you sevenths for Connor McDavid. So I'm not going to do that. Also, I put on my NHL heaters playlist while I was kind of setting everything up and a song from NHL 06 started playing. And for some reason in my head, I was like, oh, guess I'm playing NHL 06. Um... Cool. I don't know why I'm playing this, but I'm down. I also just realized that Timo Meyer is still in the Sharks here, but this is a fantasy draft, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. The trade deadline as of when I'm recording this is an hour and a half away. The actual trade deadline day hasn't really been very eventful. It was all the stuff leading up to this. All the big pieces have already been moved, except for that guy up there, Eric Carlson, but I don't know if he will get moved. Let's find out what team we're gonna be using. It is the Vancouver Canucks. So we didn't really go that far. Moved a couple. Owner mode, no thank you. Fantasy draft, yes please. I'm not even gonna mention this time. You know who I'm talking about. Fog of War off, player morale off, and I think we are ready to rumble. Let's get in there. Actually, just kidding. Let's not get in there because I need to turn off injuries. I will not modify the trade offer notification thing this time though because we want that to be open. Waiver notifications, however, leave me alone. It's gonna feel really odd drafting with no restrictions, you know? I don't think I'm ready for this, but I'm gonna say we get pick number 17. I don't know if I've ever picked that. I don't even know where that came from, but we get the second last pick in the draft. Phenomenal. At least our picks are basically back to back. Every single time I go to draft somebody, I'm just going to be thinking, do they fit the requirement? And then I'll have to constantly remind myself that there isn't one. You know what? Let's start off different this time. Let's go with Charlie Mack. Look at that. Loaded with abilities. boy. I know, I know. When I start off with defensemen, historically it doesn't go well. But there's a first for everything and Charlie is right-handed. Good to know. With our next draft pick being about two years away, I... Kind of want to take a goalie, and I'm having an internal debate right now. Jakey O, I think, simmed well for me last time. Connor Hellebuck usually sims okay. I'm just going to go weird. Let's take Jake. Flo Giroux, veteran presence. He's got some abilities in there. Won a ton of face-offs in a recent draft I did, so hopefully he can do the same thing here. Well, as a matter of fact... Things got interesting. Maybe he'll play the wing. Nichushkin was having the sickest season of all time, and then he kept getting hurt, which was very unfortunate. Well, I think he just got hurt once, and then it kept bothering him. His cap hit is so low now, 3.7. And he's got four abilities. He's going to be our first line right winger to play with Claude. So I really want to, with these two picks, finish up our first line and our top defensive pair. Is there any left wingers with abilities? Zuccarello... So that's good. Holy smokes, Christopher. That's pretty good. He's making 500k more than Zuccarello. Same overall. I actually don't know what to do here. All right, we're going with Kristoff. My mind has been made. We're going to draft a defenseman next. I need a left-handed defenseman. Any left-handed defenseman with abilities. Because I want that chemistry. Maybe I could just have two... Right defenseman? We're gonna have any defenseman with abilities? I don't think so. He's probably the last- Oh! And he's left. He probably won't go for another 32 rounds, but I am going to go ahead and draft him regardless. You know what? This has just turned into the ability draft. I'm gonna take Pavelski, and then I'm gonna take Zuccarello for the second line. Our average age has gone up significantly from the first few picks, but I don't care. We're gonna be- I have to accept any trade. Well- there's one caveat I forgot about. David, that's my boy! 85 overall, does bits. Welcome to the team at 1 million. I'm gonna try to draft some younger players now. Trust me. But Orlov is just so good. I have follow is, you know, 28, sort of in his prime, I guess you could say. 84 overall, make him 4. That is an outstanding third liner. I have not looked at our cap space. 33 million, so we're still chilling. What better way? To have my free-for-all fantasy draft than to take both David Krejci and Trevor Moore. John Walker, welcome to the team. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up Carson Soucy. Last time he played for us, the simulation was outrageous. So I will be selecting Wall 
Does that mean I have to do all the picks in this draft because we're, well, no, not really. Morgan Geeky, third line center at 1.480 overall. Seems like a great addition to the team, but how long will he be on the team is the real question. Watch us get no trade requests at all. Marcus Nudevara, a right-handed defenseman that shoots left. Another defensive defenseman. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. No more debating. I'm just taking picks here. Nate Schmidt. I'm down. So now we have $12 million to sign our fourth line. You know what that means. Let's go. Milan Lucic is joining your Vancouver Canucks. Ryan Reeves is also joining your Vancouver Canucks. And you know what? So is Brian Boyle. I wonder if these will be assets teams are going after or not. Only one way to find out. I almost backed out of the entire draft, which obviously would have saved nothing. Heartbreak was just avoided. Ooh, we also got Lucius. So he could potentially play on the team if we trade players away for picks, which you might not have a choice. Before I even sim up to the regular season, I almost did it and we would have got a trade request. So I'm gonna go ahead and modify the trade block if I can find it. There you are. Our surplus, anything, any forward. You can also have any defenseman, if you ever so please. And while you're at it, Go ahead and take a look at any of our goalies. All of our draft picks are available, which is another thing I need to make sure we do not accept back. Because it's gonna be a nightmare. I will be accepting only first, seconds, and thirds. And also, the only restriction I'm gonna put is that the player has to be between the age of 22 and 32. So we're not getting completely finessed. I also just realized that there's a player role, so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all of these and set them up to be any forward with the same age restriction. All right, there you have it. We're accepting any player between the age of 22 and I guess 33 for a defenseman exclusively. And for draft picks, one through three, I want to edit our lines before I start simulating just to see what we could have had if we do get any trades. Oh my word. He could play on the team because there's no restriction. Sure, the computer drafted him, but I mean, who's gonna stop me? There's no draft challenge here. Okay, this is more like it. We got a plus five, a plus three, and then a plus one, a zero. How are our defense? Come on. What a thing of beauty. Is there anything I could do here? Not that I would, but hmm. Maybe? Because I did draft Nate Schmidt last. Now nah, we'll leave it. I like how I'm acting as if it even matters. We're just going to get trades and our team's going to get blown up. So <laughs> really what you're looking at now is irrelevant. Will we see trades before the regular season? There you go. A third for Geeky. Are you serious? <laughs> All right, accept trade. And I'm just gonna do best roster from now on. I'm not gonna go in and edit the law. Are you kidding me? This is going great, guys. Oh my word. See, this is what I'm talking about. Who's this guy? Ronnie, he's 23. I feel like I'm getting finessed so hard right now, all right? T-game! I need to go edit the trade block again. We are draft picked out for the year, no more. I will no longer be accepting any draft picks, players only. Oh, where's everybody now? Nobody wants to trade, guys? Look at the beating this team took. I left it open for a split second and they pounced. What a bunch of sharks, I tell ya. If I move Chris Kreider up, it moves this line to a plus three and this one's still a plus five, so... Kinda gonna do that. Defensively, we're all set. Goaltending, boom. So we need our first two lines to carry us. It might happen. I'm also, once again, assuming we're not gonna get any trades, which we will. I'll sim up to the deadline or try to anyway. Let's see how long we can go without getting a trade request. Great start. Guarantee you this would not have been happening with the original team. Here we go. Okay! All right. We're giving up a first... And Andre, nope, that is not him. Anton, sorry bud, but you are headed to the Ottawa Senators in exchange for Boone. Six, five, and oh. There we go, that win was huge. Add another one. We take overtime losses all day, by the way. So if you guys want to lose in overtime, you won't hear any negativity from me. Big win over the Sharkies. Minnesota, another dub. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. No trade requests in a while. You could update your trading block. No. I wonder if we'll get any trades at the deadline. It's possible. Here we go. What a trade. 
See you later, I have follow for basically nothing. Well, it's good while it lasted. Went on a bit of a rip there, you know? Robertson and Wall. So our backup goalie is dipping, but we're getting Savard and Zemgis. What overall is Gergensen's? He is 79. All right, fourth line forward. And 82, so he might not even... Did I say Dennis? I feel like I said Dennis, but I could have just said that in my head. Anyway, David Savard, 82 overall, might not even make our defensive core. And then we're losing Matthew Robertson as well. Proposed trade. Yes, sir. Another one. This one's kind of irrelevant, but I have to accept it. Okay. Go ahead and do whatever you want with the team, GM. So we actually have 35 wins at the deadline, which is much better than I expected. I'm going to make us a conservative buyer. Enter. And I'll kind of just chill and see if we get any requests. I'm not going to make any. I just have to accept if we do, in fact, have any offer tossed in our general direction. Nothing yet, but I still feel like a sitting duck right now. Well, Nashville made a trade. Couple draft picks in there. Philippe Deneau. That guy... No longer a part of the Detroit Red Wings. Actually, there's been a lot of pieces moved here already. Merzlikens is gone. Connor Brown is gone. Muzzin. Hull. He's off the market. Does that mean they just updated their trade block and said no? There should really be a way to speed this up, you know. There's no way I'm doing this for another four hours. I mean, it's not actually four hours, but in-game four hours. The Rangers making some moves here. They get Nick Jensen, a fifth, and Tomas Tata. Okay, it's a pretty big acquisition for them. When that clock hits nine, I am dipping. Oh, we actually got one. New Devara and a second in exchange for a second, third, and Cousins. No idea what overall Cousins is. Losing New Devara kind of sucks, but we did get Savard, I suppose. Except, I feel like this deal will be beneficial for both teams. On behalf of the Vancouver Canucks, I accept. All right, I waited till 10. Enough is enough. We got one trade done at the deadline. Let's go find out the damage that our team has taken throughout the course of the year. Still got a plus two on the second line, and it can be a plus three, so you better believe I'm gonna do that. Cousins is our third line center now, so thanks for that, I guess. Still got a plus five on the first pair. Savard is right there, and we can't get any chemistry here, can we? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm actually gonna send it. Welcome to the second defensive pair, Carson. And net, obviously, we still got Jake Yo. Well, that's our final roster. Let's run with it. We're actually not doing bad, you know. That's three dubs in a row. Almost at 40 wins already. Boom, we get it against the Ducks. Shootout win against the Golden Knights. Cool. We're losing games, but we're not going on losing streaks, per se, until right there. But I still think we're playoff bound. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. We're in. We qualified. Let's go. We had 96 points. Third in the Pacific Division in the entire league. Oh, we're actually up there. Seventh. So we just had a really good division this year. The Golden Knights have Barzal, Eberle, and T. Weiler. Freddie Anderson backed up by Ronta, Adam Fox, and Mackenzie Wieger. They have a good defensive core. Yeah, they have a good team. It was almost the top 16, but nope. The Edmonton Oilers had to be an exception. Tampa and New Jersey getting finessed. Who finished last was the New York Rangers, and they had Ovechkin, Suzuki, and Kaprizov. Vanacek and Chalgren? I don't understand. That first line should have just basically won them the cup. Claude, the legend, leads the team. What was his face-off percentage? I gotta know. Did he win a lot of draws? 58.7. Mad lad. He had 74 points. Pavelski had 70. Tara Sank show had 64. Chris Kreider with 60. And we have a pretty solid defenseman here with Charlie as well, putting up 57. I will accept that. Jake, you legend. 37, 21, and 4 with 6 shutouts and a 923. Joel just... I couldn't get it done. I feel like if we still had our other boy backing up, we would have been all right. Freddie Anderson and Flurry tied with 41 wins. A 9-10 and a 9-06. Jake's right there. Absolute icon. Seven shutouts for Markstrom down here. What a year for Adam Fox. Not only did he get a nice amount of assists, but he also was almost point a game at 78. Shabbat had 71. Riley was 68. There's your top three. And once again, no one breaks 100. 99 from Matthews. 51 tucks, though. So there is a Rocket Richard winning season for him yet again. Crosby, Stamkos, and Marchie all have 94. It would have been cool if Nate Mack also had 94, because then we could have had the Scotias, but no. There he is. Nate had 76. Not a great year for him. Here is the initial playoff tree. Let's send it. Let's get the first four games behind us. That's a great start. Big dub. Okay, all right, 
It is a best of three. Will we take the advantage in the best of three? No, we do not. All right, Seattle. Okay, I see you. I love first round exits as much as the next guy. Don't get me wrong, but it'd be kind of cool to move on for once. Killed off a Seattle power play, but they killed ours off as well. Penalties going back and forth right here. Maybe it's getting physical. Probably because our backs are up against the wall. So we got to fight for it. And Soderblom scores on Jake Yo right before the second period ends. That is not a good way. Who is that guy anyway? Nate Schmidt, you legend. Cuts the lead down to one. Another power play. We can't capitalize. It's done. Marino. Who do they even have on their team? Who's their star players? Horvat, I guess, is one of them. Well, it was a valiant effort, but no can do. First round exit. Let's find out who wins the Stanley Cup. It's going to be the Ottawa Senators. The Manitoba Moose taking home the Calder. Cool, cool. Zuccarello leading us in the playoffs. And we got three points from McAvoy. Three from Schmidt. Our first line just ghosted. Goalie can't be blamed. 9-12 save percentage. He did all right. Swayman and Vladar had the two most wins. 932 for Vladar, you know. That's crazy that they didn't win the cup. Stewie, that's my boy from Be a Pro. 930 save percentage. Markstrom, 923. Carlson was on fire. 15 points in 13 games, but Toronto was deleted. Dumba had 14, pretty solid. And then if we go to forwards, we can see that Sebastian Aho is going to be your Conn Smythe winner. 28 points in 22 games. Jack Hughes had one less point, playing four less games. That's impressive. Did we at least take home any hardware? My guess is no. And I think that my guess is correct. Just kidding. The legend, Jake Ottinger, gets the Vesna. So we don't go home entirely empty-handed. Thank you. Well, there you have it, your playoff tree. Not a tough time for the Senators. They went to six games three times, but sweep in the first round. They never had to face a game seven. Well, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want me to do other accepting trades videos, be sure to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe because the stats say that 99.1% of you watching this video are not subscribed. All right, on a real note, thank you. I will see you soon.